Okay, hello YouTubers, this is Gibbazoa. Um, a lot, of, some people from the HTTP forums were complaining that the, the webcam version wasn't doing too hot. Uh, so here it is again, here's how to get Cyberlink DVD suites on, uh, from a recovery disk from your PC, for your HTTP users, who've, uh, had it pre-installed, and, um, want to get it back on. Now some of you guys are having issues where it says unauthorized machine. Well from what I'm understanding, um, if you clean install Windows 7, you won't be able to do it. If you upgrade from XP or Vista or whatever had Cyberlink on it to begin with, then you know there's a possibility you could do this without getting the unauthorized machine error message. As for a workaround for that, I haven't figured that out yet, but I will be letting you guys know. I mean, because, you know, it's kind of a yes. Um, there's also updates for uh, Cyberlink uh, DVD suite for Windows 7, so go to uh, so hp.support.com and type in your computer model number and then click go, or OK, whatever it is, and then you'll see a picture of your, your computer, and then you're going to want to click um, software and drivers, and then what you'll do is you'll get it, um, let me try and think, yeah, you'll get the, um, the list of drivers and everything, and it should be in the mult um, you would have to pick your operating system, which is Windows 7, uh, 32 or 64 bit, and it should be in the multimedia. Um, so you could probably get it that way. I'm guessing that's why HP did it, because a lot of people like to do clean installs for obvious reasons. So anyways, uh, here's what my recovery disk looks like. It could be any one's recovery disk. Um, so I'm going to minimize this. Hey, Jet Audio. Running fine on uh, 7. So anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop in your recovery disk. Uh, I don't know if it's um. See, for me, it's disk one. So you're gonna have to try. I don't know what disk it is. Um, I actually found out what disk mine was from recovery manager when I tried to recover it uh, myself. But the recovery manager was having a heart attack about it, so I decided to do it myself. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to open folder to view files. Now you're going to come, for me, it might be different for everyone else, but it might, should be the same for majority. You're going to come to your HP folder. And it's see if here, it does say recovery one of three. So, so anyways, uh, you're going to click, double click here. Now you see where it says um, apps, you're going to click on that. Now you see all these, these are all your little applications. And, you know, if you click on them, you'll see what they are. This one's uh, HP Smart Menu, whatever that is. This one, yeah, you can see my drive. I don't know, this uh, Picture Mover. You know, you guys get the idea. Symantec, Norton Security. Give this damn about Norton Security. PC Doctor, and so on and so forth. And those with Vista who just uh, want to go roll back, you can do this as well. Uh, so that's for touch more pieces. So um, here we are. I know this is two of them, and this is another one. And then the last one is down here somewhere. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install the uh, power starter first. So now what you do is you don't come here. Ignore this altogether. You're going to come to where it says C uh, S R C. Yesterday I said it was S C R. And double click. Now commands. Yes. Okay, so you click on CR, uh, SRC. I think you never say this right. And then you're gonna go down to all the way to you see where the setup. No, I didn't go down all the way. Oh, yes, it's okay. You see where it says setup? You have two setups. You have, uh, or three. You have setup ISN, you have setup, um, configuration settings, and then you have setup application. What you're going to want to do is use setup application. Before you use it, um, if, if you guys are on Windows 7, uh, all you do is right click it on um, setup, go to properties. Okay, I'm, doing, I'm not clicking on, I'm oh, sorry. Right click on that. Right click on setup. Go to properties. You see where it says compatibility? Click that. Now, I already have it set to this because I already did this. But make sure you check run this program in compatibility mode. 
um, for, and then I selected uh, Windows Vista Service Pack 2, because that's what I upgraded from. So, I mean, if you upgraded from uh, XP, I would probably assume you would have to do Vista anyway, because I don't, you know, I don't know if there's a really big difference anyway. It's going to install it as is, as is. Um, you can only check this if you need to. I don't, I didn't need to because I'm the only one on this computer. So I'm an administrator as is, so. Um, what you do is you click apply. Then, uh, okay. Then what you do is you double click on setup instead of right click at this time. And then the setup should launch successfully. And then you just rinse and repeat for all the rest of them. You have, um, you know, uh, power to go, and then you have, um, label print, and you see my drive having a heart attack. And my application list might be different. This is, um, power starter, this is label print, and this is, no. Will it tell me? Come on, open up. No. Okay, you are power to go. This is label print. And this one down here should be no, not media smart. Media smart can go jump off the nearest lake. Okay, this is Power Director. This is Power Director. Very nice program, actually. I have to say that I have to compliment on it. But that's it. I mean, you know, if you guys are looking for other applications, I'm not sure if they might be on your other disk. And the same could actually work for your drivers as well. If you're gonna install the drivers as um. For Vista, that's what I had to do with my um uh, USB adapter. So um, you know, it essentially works the same, but I don't know really how to deal with the driver situation. So uh, deal with this on your own. You know, don't say oh, Skip has always said to do it. I showed you how to do the ab applications, um, and that's about it. So you know, t um, if you do this on your own. I'm not responsible for it, just so you know. So anyways, this was uh, Skivazoa, and this was how to um, get uh, Cyberlink DVD Suite and other applications that you once had on your pre-installed OS, but had, had to um, uninstall them, or had them uninstalled by HP Upgrade Assistant, and want to get them back. Um, this is also for people who have trouble like me, Installing the upgrades to Cyberlink and everything like that. So I just went with the old one and just sent them to Vista mode. So, you know, that's it. This is uh, Skipazella, and I am out.